Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel today. I am here to show you the pens that I got during the month of October 2021. And during this month, I got eight pens from five different brands. And that's what I'm going to show you today. No writing samples, just showing the pens. They are not for organized by any particular order, but I will show them grouped by brand. And let's start. The first one is this. This is the Caveco Art Sport Metallic Turquoise. It is a pen from the Caveco Art Sport Generation 3. It is a very beautiful pen. It has a very nice color depth. To it, uh, it is kind of a regular Cavec sp art sport with this resin barrel and the usual nib, but it has a very nice color. I got this from Jurgen Kuz, which is Gidania on eBay, and I'm very happy. I bought several pens from him, and it always it is always a very good deal. So, this is one of the pens. When I make these videos, I like to show you color comparisons. So. I got here the other two Caveco sports that I think I have, may have the same or a similar chatoyance to them. One is the Caveco Art Sport from Generation 2, the Rosette. It's not the same kind, but you can see there is some, some more than the plain red. I used to think it was a very plain red, but I don't think that anymore. But this one is more intense. And the other one is the Pearl Orange from Generation 3. And this one is very similar to that one, but with a nicer color and I would say with an amazing depth of color. So these are three very beautiful Cavec Sport pens that I am very happy to have. The next pen I want to show you is also a Caveco. It was the second Caveco from this month. And let me put it like this. And it is this one. I also got it from Jurgen. It is a Caveco Elite. And the Caveco Elite is a nice pen that is no longer produced. It is not a vintage one, it is a modern pen but it is no longer made. I think it is a very nice pen. It has kind of a older feel to it, not vintage, but older. It is quite heavy. The cap is heavy, the barrel. I think it's very nice. And it has the big number six nib with the Caveco logo. And I tend to think that this nib is one of the very beautiful nibs that are around. And for me, it has a nice touch that it is a Bok nib, and I enjoy Bok nibs. Not everyone does, but I do. It is an interesting pen. This very shiny cap uh, gets all the fingerprints. And if I had to compare this pen with some other, I would compare it with two other pens we have, which have the same kind of clip and some kind of vintage feel to them. One is the Caveco Dia 2, which is this beautiful pen, but it has the black cap and it has a number 5 nib, which is much smaller than the number 6 on the Elite. So this is the regular nib on a Caveco Sport. And I have also here the Caveco sport looks which is a very beautiful pen all black with a fixed cartridge it's not removable as or optional and here you can compare it with the others it looks like this so the elite is really nice so uh, i i have to say that and you would guess that it's easy to understand because kavek usually does that kind of thing. Uh, there is an equivalent to this pen, to the Elite, but with a smaller size and the number 5 nib. And it is called the Caveco Elegance, but I don't have one. And But I have this, the Elite 
and elegance I would say it's more similar to the Dia 2 but I don't have one and it's not a priority right now for me to, to get. Let me put this in decent framing. So other two Cavecos that I like a lot. This is maybe my favorite Caveco sport in regarding the design. Now we will keep ourselves in Germany and we will go for three Lamy pens. One Lamy pen that I got was this Lamy Linea ST. I'm not completely sure if the Lamy ST is called Linea or is, is there is Linea and there is ST, but I think this is Linea ST, which means it is Linea with a simple steel, uh, plain steel finish. And this pen, you can see it here, I bought it, uh, this is an older pen I bought here in Lisbon in a store. It is new, old stock, and it has no marking on the nib, but it is an F. You can still see that here on the sticker, and it has this kind of clip, not the springy clip on the CP1, so I would say this is basically a CP1, even all the parts are interchangeable, even the cap. And talking about the CP1, I have here two CP1s for comparison, as I like to do on these videos. I have the CP1 in steel, in brushed steel, which you can see it's really a different finish. And I have that one in chrome that I'm not sure if it is an official edition or not. You can see it's much more shiny than this. This is like the that sorry about comparison with another brand, but that kind of Parker brushed steel, not the Lamy brushed steel. But it is a nice pen. However, as I told you, the pen is quite the same when you take the cap off. Same pen, really. But with the cap on, you can see there is difference not much on top but on the clip on the way it is fixed on the cap on the length the engraving and the style of the clip this one to use you need to lift this to this one you just press this part and it will come up so this is a Lamy Linea which is an interesting pen that I bought mostly to have some more diversity to make more videos and I'm not completely sure if I will keep it or it is just for this. Sometimes I buy stuff that are just for the channel so sometimes I'm just spending money for the channel not for a personal big interest in them. The next pen also a Lamy it is another Lamy CP1 with this nice aubergine or eggplant color. It has a black uh, clip, black end part and a black nib, as you may see. I got it from eBay, from Germany, and this pen reminds me other two Lamy CP1s that I had, and this one is branded by Mercedes, Mercedes brand, Benz, and it has the Lamy logo engraved there, imprinted, not very easy to see. And it reminds me clearly of the Lamy CP1 in white. It has the engraving in the same place, but it doesn't have this kind of branding. And I also have this lacquered one, which is a grey pen, like these. So these are the Lamy CP1s in lacquer finish that I have. This one has a natural steel colored nib and a chrome clip. This one has black clip and black nib and this one also black clip and black nib. So they tend to match the clip with the nib and that is quite nice. So this is another pen that I'm quite happy with because it is very unusual and I was lucky to find one. 
and I think I'm after a few more Lamy CP1s now because I'm getting a little bit addicted on the model. I think it's fun. It's not my favorite kind of model, but I'm, I don't know. I, I kind of like the design and the concept and the way you have a very thin pen that you can almost put inside the book and carry with you. The next pen is also another Lamy CP1. And this one has this ribbed, this lined finish. It has the same kind of clip, says Lamy there. And on this side, it says, can you read it? Sterling, West Germany, and then 925. And this one, instead of a steel nib, it has a gold nib that says only there, just the, I'm trying to show it to you, just the gold content there engraved on the clip, on the nib. And it has kind of a broad oblique nib. So this is a very interesting pen. But this one is the, is one of the slimmer Lamy CP1s. And it is very visible because if you try to post it, it doesn't post this cap is much wider than this. So this is the older version. As I understand, there was also the sterling silver from the thicker version. And from this um, thin version, I have also a black pen. This one, which has a regular steel nib. And I also have this brushed steel, like the one that I showed you before, but this one also has this kind of very oblique nib, also a gold nib. To check the, really dif the real difference, I have here the two finishes, the same finish, and the one beneath is larger is girthier than the other one. These are older, the thicker are newer. So, these are the Lamy pens that I got during October. So, so now three more pens to go. Another pen that I got was from Ireland and it was this Gravitas pen. This is a pen that reminds me almost of a Cavex Sport. You can see the kind of shape. But instead of a faceted cap, it has a round cap just with one facet to avoid it to roll. It has the Gravitas logo there and this color is called Olive Grey. It is a very nice color and it has a very big section with a texture and it has then a medium yovo nib. And Number six nib, so it is a big nib. It is nice to have a small pocket pen with a big nib. For comparison, I just want to put it here next to the other Gravitas I have, which is the Stainless Steel Skull Edition, which has the skulls there. And I like it a lot. I really like this pen. You can see there are skulls on the pen. And it also has the same kind of medium steel nib by Yovo. It is a big pen, much bigger than the pocket, of course, the Gravitas pocket. Just for comparison, I also have here the Caveco Sport, the Explorer, which is a color that is not the same, but they go into the same kind of family. You can see the, the the cap of the Gravitas is almost the same as the cap in size of the cap of the Caveco, but then the barrel is much shorter when you uncap and post the Caveco Sport and when you uncap and post the Gravitas Pocket, you will see that there is a major difference. This one doesn't post as deeply, so it becomes a bigger pen it has a number six nib much bigger than this and the section is also much longer. So there are differences. Also uh, a cartridge pen 
all these pens that I'm showing you today are cartridge pens. So let's put these away and let's go for the final two pens. So all Europe today. This is this is all Germany, Ireland, and now Italy. I have this pen. I bought this one. This is an Osama. I don't know the model. This one has Oh, I just noticed that the clip of this one is broken. Oh. So, this is a sad thing to find out when we are just working on the video. Okay, now I broke it completely. So this was kind of a failure. The clip is broken. I did a very bad thing. So, you didn't see, but I, I broke the, the clip in. Not live, but during the video. And so, this is kind of sad. I don't think there is a way to fix it. It is an inexpensive pen, so I'm not really worried, but I would prefer it didn't happen. This pen is kind of nice because it has this kind of design. Looks like a celluloid. And I already have... This metal almost looks like plastic, if I had to say something about it. So I don't think there is a way to fix this. If you have an idea, please let me know, but I think... It's okay. Sometimes this stuff happens. It was bent and I just tried to. It was funny. So, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> just a, a disaster on video. Um, this is an Osama, as I told you. The clip, the, the pen, the cap is a clip, um, click on place. You have a. This is an Italian pen, cartridge converter pen. But it has a Chinese hero nib. And the pen is quite fun because of the material, which looks like a celluloid. So the material is very nice. Unfortunately, the clip is broken. I like it. I like the way the lines are misaligned. And I already had two other that had no problems with their clips. They are the same pen with different materials. Materials quite the same, but the patterns are a little different and they are really nice. So I enjoy this. Unfortunately, I just broke the clip on this one. So it was not perfect anymore. I made a mistake. I bought this also in a store here in Lisbon, but there is no way now I can go there and say it broke. So my fault. Now, let's go for the last pen that I bought also on the same store. It is a German pen and it is an online, it's called online yellow pen and it is a nice one made in Germany and I like it because it is yellow, mostly because of that. The clip is not perfect. You can see that the painting, the yellow painting on the clip is not that perfect. It unscrews, you have this number five. I would say it is a Bok nib, the same kind of feed we find on some older Cavex port pens. It has a short section, it has a screw cap, it has a kind of a step there which is strange. Then it is a cartridge pen, as you may see. And it has this narrow part, but it's not a piston filler, it's just a regular cartridge pen. And when I got this pen in my hands. I bought it because it, it has the color that I like, yellow, and it reminds me another, the kind of design of German pens. Some older German pens, maybe from the 80s. This is a Eberhard Faber Oriental, and this pen is a piston filler pen, as you may see. The same feed, the same nib, as you may see. The cap is of the same size, the same clip, the same knurled part here, which is fun. 
and then here the barrel on this one is longer but you can see the same neural thing here and the same neural th same kind of pattern there and the same end which me they seem like they are made in the same factory i didn't try that yet but are the they look the same are the caps exchangeable yes they are so i would say the brand that made these, the factory that made these pens, the Everard Faber Oriental is the same that made the online yellow pen and that is kind of fun. So this is a comparison not in color but I think I had to do it uh, because they reminded me the same pen, I didn't try the cap yet I did, but I tried now and I have here the big banana pen, as some people call it, the big William Shakur Titan. This pen is not small in length, but of course nothing is comparable with the William Shakur Titan, which is a, a beast, even the number 8 titanium nib is much different from uh, number five nib on the online yellow pen. So these were the pens I got. I'm not too sad of the clip of this one because it was cheap, but I get always kind of sad because I hate to have pens that break. I really hate that. I I try to take care of my pens, but sometimes this stuff happens and. I'm sad because of that, not because of the value of the pen by, them, by itself, because it's not a very valuable one. So, this was the video of the pens that I got during the month of October 2021. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you will keep watching my videos and we will meet again in a future video. Bye!